Um, yeah, all their all their mages and shit suddenly had urgent business elsewhere. Probably there, there is Alex, oh, there is Alexopolis. There, there is a location, so that's the binding with to where people are going to put stuff for teleportation yeah. to. Absolutely, right. uh, they they have a big binding thing. If you'd like to go bind yourself there, that's great. It's yep. a big circular circle of concrete looking stuff that they just Lovely. keep there. Lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, where is my bind self there? How are we doing? Right. Yes. Who rolled the hundred? Uh, Mr. Alex Kinley. Was no. that the possible uh, exploding extraordinary? Ah, and a fumble yeah. deck card. Fumble deck. <laughs> uh, you dropped all the shit you were holding. It was embarrassing. Was oh, then you dropped your cock out of your hand. You're like, oh, it slipped out. Yes. It happens. No, oh, bum. All right. Can't cast that anymore because I'm too low on magic points. So now you guys go to sleep to wake up the next morning? Yep. Cool. Uh, is anybody wanting to cast phase on themselves before going out and meeting the world? Yes. Go ahead and do so and reduce your hand by one, Pete. Yes. You okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They actually managed to find a couple of people who picked up minor diseases or eating some bad shrooms or whatever and bring them to you. You are cured. Yay! They say. They 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 have a bard come in and he asks for your previous adventure so he can make a song. Alex killed the sick and the wretched disease and the man whose penis dripped a yellow liquid was clean at least for an hour until he picked it up again, the dirty whore, and then etc. It's it's songs like that. So, you guys have gotten all your defenses and shit back in working order, and you're pretty much just standing there, and Darius comes in and looks at you guys like, well, all right. So, um, am I going to get any magic um, weapons here? Or what? Certainly. They, he he uh, gets somebody to get you some. He says, bring in the Alex Kinley plate mail. They bring it in, and it's got nipples. That's the first thing you notice. What? It's, it's got nipples, like that, <laughs> like the Batman thing. And uh, it also has various uh, sayings and stuff, like I'm St. Patrick bitches and stuff like that I into it. it. And, yeah. Um, it also, uh, like on the, the buttocks, it's like dead ass, you oh. know, and stuff like that. I'm um, to be chocolate. <laughs> And uh, the cod piece is extra large. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, yeah. And it's very shiny. And uh, one of the the uh, 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 Van Braces says, uh, pain is coming. And then the other one says, please wait in line for pain. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. It, it's pretty much just ego armor at its best. It's shiny. It sparkles a little bit. It's the best armor you can get. It moves you two places instead of just the one. Um, it, wildly impractical to wear around anywhere except for here, but by yeah. God, it'll do you good. And it doesn't doesn't really encumber you or anything. I mean, it takes like a couple people, 15 minutes to get you into it, but once you're in it, you're, you're yeah, good. good. You're good for a while, sure. Do you uh, have any... Do you have any magic armor equivalent to what the doc's got? They look at the doc. I, sh I have the chain that's 
two removed, shiny. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, they they get you some. Uh, uh, actually, they've got some that's just yeah. Here's some indestructible wood-looking stuff that kind of look. It looks like shitty samurai armor. It you know, but it's very light. It it's it's bad in that it's not like flashy looking or cool looking. Uh, it looks like some kid said, "I'm going to make armor out of wood," but it's also indestructible wood, and it's lightweight. It does click together sometimes, but it's not as noisy as like uh, plate mail and stuff. I'm not saying plate mail is like strapping pots to you and shit, but this is a little bit quieter. I am going to be like right back in like ten minutes. Ten um, minutes. Order food. Mm -hmm. What a food. Ooh. Yeah, I need to oh, I need to make a path right quick so the guy can bring food to the door. Mm. There was a snowstorm. I'll be right back. Ah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? I like, just throw it. <laughs> I'm open. I'm open. So it'll be YouTube versus the thing and let him know how it went later. Nice. Let's do that. I just want to get something done because you guys are as tooled up as you're going to get. Oh, and they have magic weapons. Do you want a magic sword? Oh, Alex, we also have a magic shield, a magic lance, and a well-trained horse for you to ride. Mm. Does, it, does it ride on water? Does it run on water? Uh, once. Once. <laughs> <laughs> and not very far, I'm guessing. Correct. Quick. Fuck it, the landlady's being useful. She's doing it. So, good, good. <laughs> Weird. Um, all right, good. Well, let's see. Do you have any got. large magic daggers? You know, dagger. blade this. Yeah, blade about this. You want a D6 dagger is what I'm guessing. No. no. Yeah, D6 right. dagger. D6 dagger. Oh, I want, well, if, if we potentially need magic items to hurt it, my cookery, while it's a mastercraft, cookery is not magic. Ah, uh, sure. Go ahead and give me a luck roll. Lower is better to see what kind of magic knives they've got because, you know, magic lance, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, know, just on top chance. Sure. Uh, luck. Right. Uh, minus 30. Yeah, you get a nice, it's a poignard. You know what that is, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Use big fencing and stuff and yeah, no, no, no. one for downed knights the oh big okay for downed knights when night falls down then like the squire jump on him with this fucker and stab the shit out of him through the vulnerable areas oh okay so yeah fun yard uh right you guys are ready um uh, anybody else need any magic weapons they're happy to give them to you bring them back don't bring them back it's mm. all good Pull me up. Sure. Uh, they give you a magic one-handed sword, magic lance, magic shield. Um, they they have a rock that it looks like a little uh, meteor that goes around your head, round and around and around. It doesn't do shit, but it does fucking annoy <laughs> the shit out of you. Yeah. So. You know what? Instead of the horse, do you have a well-trained farter? No, yeah. if you sit on them, they fart and slowly deflate. But actually, we might be able to get a couple of them to it. We do have rhytopedes. Mm. If you want, if you want a rhytopede, we've got a rhytopede. No horses. Giant insect. Where was I riding a giant insect? That was here, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, they they bring you guys over to the rhytopedes. Yeah, of course. Uh, everybody can ride a rhydopede. They're giant, uh, like multi, they're like huge millipedes that smell of dead flesh, like dead carcasses. They just reek. They don't like the direct sun very much uh, or uh, lots of different areas. But here on the plains, they pretty much, you can sit on them and they go until uh, it starts to get light out. They'll go through the night. So they're great transport here. But they don't like water at all either. They like dead carcasses. 
Uh, but as far as the farter goes, give me a luck roll, Matt. Lower is better. Maybe well, somebody's been the well-trained farter. They well, send out word. I don't think they're going to work if they don't like light or water. No, that's the rhinopedes that don't like light or water. The farters are different. Is this for the horse that can walk in water? No, this is for the farter that can fly over the water. Right. I got it at negative uh, 30. They've got one that uh, people have been sitting on a while. That it doesn't have a lot of combat experience, obviously. Uh, some people ride it around for fun because it's, you know, and it's a, it's a giant big farter. Um, the guy doesn't talk about where he got it from, but this is like on a scale that's like, it'd be like seeing a three times size cow compared to regular cows and wondering what's up. But the farmer doesn't say where it came from or anything. Hmm. Okay. But it's big enough for you to ride. He's like, if, if it gets, if it gets uh, killed, then, you know, uh, he looks at Alex Hindley and goes, I'll be sad. <laughs> well, I don't want you to be sad. Maybe I should take the horse that walks on water. We don't have a horse that walks on water well. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> um, we, we have one that can try. That's good enough. <laughs> Give you a nervous looking horse that just <laughs> fucking knows it's going to die soon. <laughs> um, so Darius goes, Yeah, as, as I mentioned before, we had a half dozen guys that went up against this. Best magic weapons, they didn't seem to do shit. Best magic armor, it didn't seem to do shit. And they just went straight at it and all died. So hopefully you've got a better plan. We don't know how to fight these things, but we will have many scholars watching this. From a distance, from a distance. Now explosives is probably not going to do anything. We don't know. But... Just we do make know that little Alex ones. Kinley can kill anything. So how are you thinking of luring it onto shore? Everybody looks at Alex Kinley, including some guy who's just walked in was like, Darius, uh, he looks at Alex. <laughs> when, when you guys have fought it, have, has it like come after you guys? Or... Oh, it's highly aggressive. Right. So, so, like... so given chase. Getting it out of the water. Well, we definitely didn't go in the water before, but being on the land just seemed to piss it off. As hitting it with a mace, shooting it with an arrow that was on fire, all these things just pissed it off. So, in fact, it bit. didn't seem to get injured from anything we did. Not even, I mean, the fire majors haven't tried fireballing it or anything, have they? No, we could ask them if they were here, but for some reason they all suddenly had business elsewhere. Maybe they started their quest for magic early. Magic, yes, it's maybe. Magic. It's possible. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, the worst thing that happens is we whack it a couple times, see if our weaponry works against it, and if it doesn't, we run away. Well, there's a little problem with that, he says. Okay. Uh, some of our guys tried to uh, run away, but this was significantly faster than the fastest sprinting man. Yeah. Huh. Well. Yeah. Okay. So um, running doesn't seem to um, – oh, and plus a lot of people went insane when they saw it. Mm -hmm. That happens. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Everybody looks at him, <laughs> including some guy who doesn't know what's going on. He just walked in. He was looking at Alex. Now he looks over at him, but and he has no idea what's going on. All right. All right. I'm so concerned guys. that we, yeah, we need some way, maybe some smart way of damaging this thing. Yeah, maybe we should investigate before you rush in blindly. Yes, but where would we gather knowledge on such a creature? We don't know, but it's know, definitely messing with the fish. One as a pet. 
you have any sages or anything? Yes, the mages were sages, but they seemed to have left for some reason. And they didn't seem to have an idea of how to harm it? Uh, no, but uh, we can't really cross-question them now, I'm afraid. Can I make yes. a Cthulhu Mythos roll? Yes. Mm. yes. On how to harm it. No, I have no idea. Excellent. Can we use actual memory? Yeah, of course. From previous campaigns? Sure, sure. Although I'm not saying it will or will not work on this. No, but Justice Swift had a pet Shogoth. Hmm. And he used to use cattle crush. Failed by one. Yeah, but that really just pissed it off. It didn't really hurt it. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it kind of kept it in line at least. Right, right. It was probably painful. Like I, I, I remember it. using fire against it. Yeah. Against him a lot. Good bet. I would try my Cthulhu Mythos, but I don't know what it is. Um, I don't think it's going to make it. No. Oh, says Darius, and we believe, we're not certain on this, but we believe it regenerates. I'm not yeah, sure if that's important. He says, mm -hmm. but... So you're sure the 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 the, the arch that fired the flaming arrow even though it might not have done a lot of damage, did it not react to the fire? No. Did it not squeal or? No. It, it seemed to not. It, it didn't even bother to put out the fire that was on it. Have you spoken to any of the other people of this land, like the driders or the flying folk or whoever else, to see if they've encountered this sort of creature previously? No, but if you'd like to do so, uh, perhaps that would be wise before taking it on head yes. on. We would hate to have Alex minorly injure himself or you two to die. It's more of a minor convenience. Which, of course, you wouldn't want. They all not. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Um, well, do we want to try get into combat with it and try to leave and you can't doesn't mean that it's going to, well, never mind. So thinking some random guy, it's the same one who keeps talking. He's like, I'll just, he begins backing a, toward the door. Are we a hundred percent? Do you have a, so people have seen it that are still alive? Uh, well, we, yes, we do have one guy, but he's quite mad now. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> they bring him in. Bring him in. Uh, they they have, dump him on the ground in front of you, and he goes, Aha! Cool. 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 Roll your spell, he's rolling to bite you. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, is that round two there? Yeah. He gets in there, bites right. Now he's got the fumble deck. All right, so uh, what's calm, read calm for me while From I find sunset to sundown? It basically calms an insane person. Oh, hey. always makes them kind of rational for he calms right down and he lays on the ground looking up at you with thought, and he goes, Alex, get leave. Of course. Now bring me a sketch artist. Yes, sir. He begins crawling off. Oh, no. like someone else. <laughs> oh, right. They they bring you in a sketch artist, and he goes, "Hello, right. I'm ready to serve in any small way that I can, Mr. Kinley. Know that now, sure. my pe yes, sir. Right. Now you describe what you saw to him. All right. Hold on a second. Do you have any paints? Oh. I primarily do sketches, but I can't. I don't make. care about you, just like in the village. Does there paint oh. anywhere? Uh, uh, house paint or what, says the guy. Like like painting. Oh, painting like I'm gonna a draw. Oh, right. they bring you they bring you your your uh uh it says L I L Rembrandt and it's got like a cartoon character of Rembrandt on it going, oh and yeah, it's a painting set. They I said can, when he's just describing it, I'm going to try to paint it because I want my painting skill to go up. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just wondering if this one could be similar to a shogun, but not, might not actually be a shogun. He says, they're usually invisible, but they have a hunger for socks. The only way to get them to stop 
eating the socks oh, is to put them in a catapult. Oh, and then you fire the catapult and they all go away. And that's the only way to get rid of the rats. A Patagonian morpho sock eating rats. We're not talking about rats. Oh, sorry. What did you talk about the big thing that made you go insane on the waterfall? Oh, that was fucking horrible. His <laughs> eyes. And... The one that keeps saying Tekalila. <laughs> oh, that. Yes, yes. He says. Hey, I'll see you on. Hell, <laughs> it mouth. had eyes and mouths, and it, it, it was gibbering, and it was like plasticky, but it wasn't plastic. It was something horrible, and it floated in the water like a big ball. And it did say "Tacky Lee, Tacky Lee, Tacky 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 Lee." Oh, he describes it some more. And the sketch artist attempts to make a. Ooh, yeah, sketch artist is not bad. He's like, there he is, this is you. And he shows you this fairly horrifying thing of like all these drooling mouths with eyes and such. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Only the morpho Patagonian sock eating rats. They're worse because that's why you're always missing one sock. Okay, I suggest you lift lock this guy up. He's only got about another. 23 hours of insert. Do you have any shoe brushes on you? That would help. Oh, he says, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and take, uh, Darius goes, take that man, lock him up, and give him uh, two shoe brushes. Thank you, Darius, he says, and he drag off. If you'd like to scream, says one of the guards while we're dragging you away, feel free. He goes, ah, <laughs> they drag him off. <laughs> you are wise in the ways of Patagonian Morpho sock eating rats, says uh, Darius to you. Mm. I have no idea what those are or how you knew shoe brush. Are, wait, are those real? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Mm. All right. Well, uh, so uh, now that you've painted, he looks at it. Well, no, it's good. We've got now a, a, a description, so if we do go to, say, the driders or whatever, we can say, oh, yeah, yeah. this is what's guarding. Cool. Uh, Chris, did you make your painting? No. Excellent. If you'd fumbled, that'd be better. I'd have had you paint Darius nude. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right. This is the horror. <laughs> <laughs> so, I... Uh, <laughs> that would have been a fun scene alright and uh, yeah so Darius is like alright well you've got the excellent sketch here the sketch artist presents it to Alex Kidney well done Mr. Sketch Artist Why, thank you let me just go on to say that I appreciate being given the opportunity to serve you in even a small way my pencil shall always be at your full of lead for Alex Kinley. What? Full of lead for Alex Kinley. Uh, I was going to say at his service, but yes, either way, I'll be going then. Shall I? Yeah, please. I'll be right back. He goes off to wherever and has a good squanch. Yeah. I was talking to Alex Kinley. <laughs> so nasty. Same role for Alex Kinley. Mm -hmm. So. So did, all right, so did you want to go? We need to do a round trip. <laughs> yeah. Know? From the swamps, go doing the lines to the lizard men, talk to these guys, come back and fight the big monster in the world. Why not? <coughs> they, uh, he says, How would you like to travel? Because over uh, traveling by land takes a long time, but do you know how to boat? Boating much quicker. Yeah. No, don't you have oh, big great. nasty creatures on the water? Well, there was one. It's this Kraken thing, but then... And it got released, yes. We've heard all about it. What? Hey, Browns. 
I don't know about released, but it, it's definitely You've not released the Kraken. I have not released the Kraken. He looks at uh, Claire. Have you released Kraken? She goes. <laughs> so um, <laughs> she hasn't released the Kraken. He says, trying to save it. Okay, um, so should we travel to the Lizardmen first and try and start a... What, sorry, what sort of boat is it? Uh, they ask, what kind of boat would you like? They are fucking versatile, any kind of boat you'd like. Uh, they were going to give you like um, a... Um, one of those uh, like hide boats uh it's very lightweight uh that the canadian trappers used to use where it's it's kind of a little bit wider and the reason is because it's easier portage like you got carried around some shit uh and it can hold enough gear for you three you know food and all that stuff yep yep Boating that's what they were going to give you but if you want something else instead they're happy to go with that do you have any land yachts? Um, we really don't have flat enough ground for those. Okay. We need right. something flatter. And we traveled with the Dryders and some land yachts for a while, a while ago. Wow, over the plains? Yep. Hmm. We will look into that. We don't really know much about them, but we'll look into it. And that's how three people died later. So, uh, yeah, they will work on that for you. The river's quite fast uh, going downstream. Yeah, so if we're, so would we be going against, sorry, I wasn't sure if the the marsh was, I assume the marsh is upstream, not downstream. No, the marsh is downstream. Oh, okay. So uh, it would be upstream as in more towards the mouth, the, sorry, the the beginning no. of the river as opposed to mouth. No. Right. It's other weird it make, stuff. Makes sense. It makes sense that it's at that end either. Yeah. yeah. So, so canoe big high yeah, canoe thingy you. with yeah. supplies. Yep. Are you eating unhealthy food, Chris? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just strange and shocking. Have you reverted to your old evil ways? I'm on a carb up right now. I don't if know I what you're eating. Means. If I continue eating the same way, your body gets used to it. So you have to fuck it up sometimes. And so then I can go back into it and then I'll start losing again. Well, I'm glad you know what you're doing. So, yes. They, they prepare the canoe and such and uh, prepare for a big send off. Uh, you're asking. You, sorry, no. Oh, I think you're about to ask what I was about to ask. If there's anything else you would like. Yes, I was going to say, Alex. Is did you want to have any guides or trackers, or didn't you tra used to travel with some people? Oh, Alex Kinley fan club. <laughs> Not the Alex Kinley fan club. Oh. By the way, they they offered to trade out your good armor uh, for some. Uh, 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 like leather, leather type armor. Uh, anybody who's got metal armor, they offer like some leather armor yeah. that's magicated and shit. Yeah, uh, that's fun. Yeah, great. They take all your other stuff, give you guys all magic armor. It's still the same amount of protection, but it's not nearly as pretty as Alex Kinley's nipple armor. Mm -hmm. They, one of the guys says, Mr. Kinley, would you like a nipple ring in one of the nipples of your armor? Or yes, in yes. your actual nipple? I think both. Cut to a chosen leg out there. And the guy's like installing a nipple ring as you guys watch. And Darius is like, you know, most people ask for, you know, uh, different kind of things for helping them on their journey. I I didn't see this one coming. I really didn't. And uh, enlarge the cod piece of it. I think it could do with being bigger. If you're still able to walk with it, they tell you. <laughs> I didn't think it had a cut piece on to begin with, but yeah, oh, yeah, it's it's articulated. So, um, yeah. 
Right. And uh, so you guys are going to be in the boat now. The good news is, uh, since you're going downstream, only one person needs to uh, roll boating in order to control the boat. I'm personally looking forward to it, <laughs> seeing it smash against uh, something and then submerge and you guys well, swim I back think, to shore. Uh, McKay is right that we should try and take a couple of, um, take and spare a couple of trackers or people that know the land. Uh, there's nobody that knows the land. These guys are refugees, not adventurers. But didn't, when Alex was traveling, didn't he have some paper? Oh, yeah, had Hornsby. Hornsby hasn't come back yet. He he went the same direction as you guys are. Uh, you're told if you find him, uh, make sure he's okay, because he's off looking for, he went uh, somewhere east looking for more resources, because he's like, He's he's a geologist, miner, explorer guy. So yeah, Hornsby, you traveled with him plenty. He tells Kinley. So if you see him, uh, and I think his wife misses him. <laughs> he looks at this one like teary-eyed woman. So. Off we trot. As them. Alex, um, yeah, Hornsby assuming they give it, they've given us supplies like food and stuff and rope and as much as as them. much as uh, uh, the, the various safely carry. Good. Yep. But uh, now a little bit on the river. This is a huge muddy river that's all, over thirty meters wide. Although it's not particularly fast, swimming is not advised due to. Uh, uh, it's really cloudy water, and it's it's swift enough that if you were to try to swim upstream, you would slowly go downstream. Do they have any spare blue or red pots? Blue or red pots? Oh, potions. Yes. Let me see. Uh, roll low. They don't know what those are. Okay. <laughs> You know, like a healing potion and a regenerate magic point potion, regenerate healing. magic energy potion. It says healing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what about healing bombs or something? Or... Bombs. Yes. Yes, right. Okay. Yes. yes. So we need first aid kits, is what you're saying. They give you a first aid kit. <laughs> there you go. Right. Have you been growing any decent tobacco? Um, the decency is not good. Yeah, they give right. you some shitty dried tobacco leaves. Hey, yeah, that'll keep you busy. Did we want to take anything to trade with the wizard men? Refill your hand, Pete. The look we're doing it. a first in first contact type thing. Uh, actually, I, I'm not going to draw any cards because of at this stage. Very well. I think we're all got decent cards at the moment. So. Mm -hmm. Oh sure. Thank you. Excellent. Are you guys? Uh, you have trade goods now. Is there anything else you'd like before you? <clears throat> we got to think of specific things. I mean, I think like. Lizards, so like like bugs, pigs with big bugs, something tasty for them. Uh, <laughs> they might, they might be, they might be meat eaters. Well, we know. They might, they might. Oh, actually, because they're in the swamps, they're probably they're quite possibly fish. Some, you know, different fish or something. Polish up their scales, nice and shiny. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay. They might uh, want. They might want. Beads and blankets or weapons <coughs> or who knows. We don't that's the problem. Unless these guys have been spying on them, we've got no idea what sort of society they're at they're in. Sure. They, they, these guys don't even know about the birdmen very much, and the birdmen are some of the first people who greeted them. Um I suppose the the big thing's gonna be how we communicate with the lizard men. Don't worry, Alex Kinley can speak the language of everything. He even knows the language of the birds. Yeah, the only thing is, though, I did have bubble fish earlier, that's right away. Well, there you go, then. 
So I've got a 20, 20 writing skill. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> man. All right. Ready to go? Yeah. I can't think of anything else. There you go at last. So who's doing the boating roll? Only one I, person. I have. I have several different boating skills at various levels. I've got small boating at um, professional. This uh, is small boating. I only know you're saving. So if either of you wish to assist with occasional paddling and controlling the boat. Hmm. I don't assist. Uh, small, what, we're trying for small boat? Okay. Yes. yes, small boat. Mm. Nice. Yeah, make it. Oh, wow. It, you see money change hands as you guys smoothly pull out and head down. The <laughs> <laughs> Looking guys giving money to other guys. Right. Cut to uh, you guys head down the Mar River for uh, many hours uh, and into the swamp where it gets much slower. Um, once you're in the unnamed swamp, you can either go to more swamp or toward the lizard men village. It's a very simple bubble map here, basically. Uh, guess we go to unnamed swamp, then there was more swamp or lizard village, Perfect. lizard man village. Yeah. I mean, you can go explore the rest of the swamp before going to see the lizard men if you feel like it. Or you can just go straight around waiting for the clitoris. Kind of like make the circle, you know? The circle yeah. of life? Uh -huh. Yes. Hmm. So is that yes for the circle of life? Yes. Very well. Uh, right. You guys head over and from... More swamp, you can either go to village or, wait, no, what's that? Some sort of temple thing on the edge of a big fucking lake. Uh, let me give you some pictures on the temple. Uh, it, it literally is built up right on the edge of the lake, like swamp, swamp. And it, it's like you can walk on the ground swamp. It's not all water and stuff. Fortunately, your boat is light enough and Alex is strong enough that you strap the entire thing and all the shit you're carrying to his back and poke him with pointed sticks in order to get him to move it from A to B if you need to. And yeah. a stick with a bottle of whiskey tied to it. <laughs> up his head. So much faster that way. So fast. Let's see. And ah, there it is. I was already on the right page. Man. Okay, so uh, down in the lower uh, right side of the page, it's so fucked up. Uh, let's see. It's something <laughs> simple. That's what the stone blocks look like. Yeah. And here's what the door in looks like. Hmm. Quite welcoming. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, you can literally take your boat out of the water and put it on the ground so that it doesn't wander off if you feel like it. So is it to that scale, as in the little tiny people? No, no. You can, you, you, can, you can walk like an eight-foot tall person through that fucking mouth. All right, so it's not, not like it's 300 feet tall doorway. No, no. No. Was this the was this the deep one thing you were talking about, Doc? No. Yes. Is it? Yep. Oh. Uh, on the outside, there are some markings and stuff that uh, are why you think this. And they're worked into the big crude stone blocks and stuff that make it. it doesn't look like any mortar was used in this or whatever just big heavy stone blocks oh look at that oh crap <clears throat> i wonder if the lizard men are actually deep ones take a card chris 
and not not yes. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, let's see other places to go from here. Just FYI. Um. Let's see, either back to where the lizard guys work or uh, the lake itself, which so, I, I call Lake Wrath. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little island in the middle? There are several islands, actually. Small islands. Yes. Some of them may be familiar to you, sir. Mm, I wonder if there's any giants or cyclops out there. Mm, maybe worth taking a look. <laughs> Is there any it's wolves out here. there running around and then like chilling in one spot for like a minute or two? Fuck. Could be. <laughs> Could be. Well. Probably not a good idea to go into this right now, especially if we don't know if the lizard people are actually deep ones, because this is their temple. They probably would not be very happy that we go chilling, you know, go check inside there and rampage through it. Yes, I don't think they would be happy. Hmm? I, I agree with you. Alex, come back. Ah. Did you want to go in there, Alex, and take a look around just to see what it looks like and shit? Get yeah, some descriptive no. stuff? Oh. No. People like it when you go into their sacred temples, jump on the altar, and yell at your Saint like Patrick. Jump on the front doors. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, uh, where to? Continue looking through the rest of the swamp as we make our way to the village that's, itself. That's pretty much the high points of the swamp. Like I said, oh. this is awesome and skipping over all the uninteresting bullshit. I like it. Mm -hmm. Just go to the village. No problem. You guys ho head over to the village of the lizard people. And plot, 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 plot. Interesting places. There it is. Right. You guys get over there. Uh, the village itself is not of deep ones, but crocodile headed people. They're about one and a half times as tall as you guys. It's primitive looking. It's surrounded by a palisade and it's right on the water. Uh, it's the same crocodile-looking people that we've met before and traveled yeah. with in the desert. Uh, very similar, yeah. Did, did you learn their language when you were traveling? Yeah, with they spoke Arabic, I think, and we communicated with them. Was it Latin in the end, Doc, that we could communicate with them in? Hmm. I don't remember. I think it was Arabic they spoke. I can't recall. Now, I would like to point out that... Oh, no, it was a Mandarin that we spoke to me. These guys look much more throwback than those guys did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they look similar, so hopefully the language situation might be similar. When when you guys are coming, the village has plenty of time to get ready because uh, trying to make any kind of rush speed in the rowboat type thing, not really happening. Yeah, no, I think we, we try to make ourselves look as less threatening as possible. Cool. They have a horn uh, powered by a full airbag of a farter, which they'd remove from the farter, that makes a loud farting noise. And uh, let's see, the horn blats like a loud fart, and eventually the gates of the wooden palisade open as you guys are pulling up onto the ground. They're trying to choreograph it and stuff for you. Uh, they have people to help you out of the boat and like tie it off and stuff like that. And then they have their king uh, come out in a procession with uh, many warriors and such in retinue. The creatures are powerfully built and have a tail. You can't. Oh, fuck's sake. Which one of the three of us is going to have to fight one of their bloody guys? <laughs> Looking at Chris. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, you can't tell if they're male or fe female. They dress in loincloths and such. Uh, after more ceremony goes on and they, the king approaches you guys and such, then he gestures out both of his human-like hands and goes, Ah, peace among nations. He I seems bow. satisfied with, he ignores the bow and he nods at Alex Kinley. Oh. 
<laughs> Apparently, this is the correct gesture. <laughs> Who was here first? And uh, he says, Rick. <coughs> what? Rick. Do we understand language? Well, he just said the one word, so it's hard to say. He says, Rick. I literally can't hear you because my ears are blocked up. Rick. Rick. Ah, Rick. He Washington. nods. He nods. <laughs> oh God. He he said he, he tries speaking in uh, it sounds like kind of a basic Arabic type thing to you. Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. Yeah. <laughs> is that a fumble? No. Oh. It sounded like something like, I will have your bowing guy fight my biggest warrior. <coughs> or something. Yeah, it's all right. I, I think you're right, you. Alex. <laughs> Alex, it all is up to you now. I, I, go, I go like this. I gesture for the guy with the or whoever's carrying the gifts to come forward and lay them in front of the king's feet. Ah, excellent. You're, you're carrying the gifts, Alex. Oh, me, I'll do it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> he gestures at himself and the king raises his the, the uh, king and his entourage look very, very impressed with the amount of gifts. Uh he says something in lizard or crocodile headed lizard man to one of his other people. Everybody can try that. I fumbled that. He says, Soon <laughs> we'll have our largest warrior kill the bowing. <laughs> and then the ceremony shall be complete. I get lizard man. Excellent. Take a check at right. it. He says, These are polite people who know how to uh, uh, give good gifts. We like them, and we should have our strongest warrior fight the bowing one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It appears they're in the court. Uh, they, they have a couple of the uh, crocodile headed guys come over and they gesture to your weapons and then to the ground, Chris. Huh? Um, I. It looks like you um, you do need to fight. The, apparently, the bowing is a bit. Uh, uh, yeah, they want to fight you. So I I don't have any apparent weapons though. Oh, they they wish to guide you to. Uh, it looks like. Imagine uh, if somebody took a bunch of logs, and vines, and tied them together in a large <laughs> dome thing. Blood. Uh, <laughs> Thunder, and all the is, is there a prim is there a primitive sign above it that may or may not say Alex Kinley's? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't have the sign yet, but you're pretty sure that his trademark uh, thing this shit is copyright. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right, the the king and whatnot. You were sitting on his uh, right hand side. Um, He's assuming that the the guy who gave all the gifts and is able to communicate with them is the the your guys' chief for some reason, and uh, that the other guy is going to be the sacrificial bitch. Um, so yeah, they they uh, are all now crawling around on the wooden structure and whatnot of this thing, and uh, watching as uh, uh, Doc Fulton is in there, and they bring in this dude who is at least twice as big and maybe four times as heavy as Doc Fulton, uh, who carefully leaves all of his weapons uh, with others and stuff, and he's doing the like cracking his back and all that stuff, and preparing. Good luck, Doc. <laughs> I'm looking around for weapons now. Oh, there's none. It, it appears that uh, these guys are used to fighting uh, with. You know, hand to hand weapons. Oh, no, I'm the one. We dishonorable. <laughs> <laughs> Take a card. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And uh, the the uh, enemy lizard bows and 
thinking that Alex Kinley speaks perfect lizard man, the chief goes, that's his, that's his, that's his, that's his. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, signal, he signals to the thing. Uh, uh, oh, did you make your roll again? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he says uh, it will. It will only be until one of the fighters submits. Do you agree? And you said yes. <laughs> ah. said, All right. No, it's only to submission. So don't, don't die. Okay. Don't or don't kill him. Oh, yeah, don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. All right. And we go for it. Doc's dramatic solo combat. Let's start doing the music, please. Da, 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 da. <laughs> right. Uh, villains are first. Attack is approved. He is going to attempt to come forward and grapple you. I'll dodge that shit. Yeah. It's kind of sucky, you think. But you dodge aside. Do you have any haste cards or whatever? Or should we go to the next round? Next round. Next round. Villains are first, heroes are second, nothing is approved. Uh, right. He is going to attempt to grapple you because it, if at first you don't succeed, are you dodging? Yeah, because I'll punch, but I'm not going to fucking grapple this guy. Fuck that. <laughs> right. You, you managed to dodge again? Uh-huh. All right. Hmm. The chief goes, sha, 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 sha. <laughs> 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 And lizard for this whole adventure. He goes, ah, be read like a little little girl strategy. I am familiar with this from our children. And... <laughs> Yes, King. You have to realize that our warriors strike hard and fast. Hmm. Next round. Villains are first. Posing dramatically is approved. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alex, take a card. Take a card. And, right. Uh, let's see. The bad guy, he is going to just try to knock you down so that he can grab you. All right. Yeah, he flails ineffectively at the air. <clears throat> All right. Um, what's approved? Oh, dramatic pose. Posing dramatically. <clears throat> yeah, All right, I'm going to punch him. Uh, We've got to fight that Shoggoth later, right? <laughs> Reduce damage die, uh, by one. One size. He has scales. Scales. <laughs> he, he, he goes, Hoo and he goes, <laughs> and cocks his head to one side like, what was that? And we now go to next round. Villains are first attacking someone with an unusual weapons approved. He's going to try to grab you again. Dodge? Yes. Think. Ha ha, he says, grabbing your head. No. Excellent. He's got hold of your head with huge hands. He's Oh, no, 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 no. I dodged. Like, no. Oh. Like ah, got it. Okay. <clears throat> now, palm your head like a basketball. Next round. Was that their idea of submissions? Uh, you're not really sure. <laughs> Heroes are first, villains are second, and the police show up to arrest him. <laughs> <laughs> the, the guards interrupt the thing, and they take him away because he's been accused of rape, apparently. So uh, that ends it. And <laughs> very confusing end <laughs> as you look around. <laughs> They just take him away. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> when Lizards comes over and grabs your wrist, Chris. Uh huh. He goes, oh, oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, when you get back from going to the bathroom in game, uh, you come back and there's no sign of the big lizard. You see another lizard, a smaller one, holding up Doc Fulton's hand, like winner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and presently, the, the king is like, all right. And <laughs> the, the, the king says to Alex, who for some fucking unknown reason seems today to be able to speak lizard man perfectly, the king says, You must come and dine with us now. It would be an honor, king. Ah. Who knows what they're talking about? <laughs> oh my god um uh, yes you, you guys are eating and you notice that the the croc guys they like to lay around with their mouths open and then these birds come and the the king tells you that they are sacred birds they're like white birds little ones and they come and they're cleaning their teeth and stuff and this appears to be the hobby of the uh oh cool uh, in my mouth guys. ah it is fucking painful as shit. You're like, ah! It just feels, it's like going to a desk and having them drill in your gums for fun. I still do it. Give me a willpower times three roll to just fucking tough it out. Like, yeah. No. You fucking bit ah. one of the sacred birds. <laughs> They're like, you should not do that, says the king. You're like got blood coming down your mouth, and there's no alcohol in this fucking village. I thought I would try it. <laughs> uh, they just shrug. So, why have you come to see us with your rich gifts? They well, are we, good gifts, by the we, way. We think cool it stuff. would be in a uh, mutual interest if if our city and your city had an alliance uh, where we can trade and we can help each other out in times of need and solidarity we would be delighted to have uh, your people come here and we shall send people there in order to study each other's ways excellent yes you have impressed us with your thing <laughs> and your strange bowing man obviously has luck yes so yes we 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 shall uh do this and uh, uh, one more question uh, oh yes uh, would you recognize this creature by any chance? I show him the picture of the struggle. That looks just like the guardian at uh, the temple. Yes. Uh, what temple would that be? He points back toward the uh, temple of Dagon that you guys had stopped outside of uh, oh, you know, God, earlier. Oh, you kidding me. To the, to, oh, my God. So there's two of them. Or oh, it is the one from the temple. The king has no idea. It is is it <laughs> at the king or has it moved? What? Is it still at temple? We or don't know. We uh, do not go there. It eats us. Uh, so we why, don't. Why? I mean, the whole reason we were sent here, Alex, is because the people at Kinleysville said something was going on here. They like they were doing. They're up to something, or they're doing something, or they were restless or something. Oh, oh uh, uh, my colleague uh, informed stirred me. up. Uh, they said about the lizard men seem to be stirred up, which is partly why we were sent here to see what was going on. 